One reason I like the gray hair streak, besides its pleasing light gray and bright orange colors, is that for me, it's something new. I was born and raised in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I never saw it there. And then I lived here in Fullerton for 35 years and never saw it. The first time I ever saw it was after we moved to this house in the hills, which was about three or four years ago. It's not the most common butterfly, but I do see it occasionally. It's also not very big. I've learned that it has multiple host plants, but especially buckwheat. Other host plants are from the mallow family, plus legumes, for instance, green beans from your garden. Having multiple host plants is one reason why the gray hair streak is so widespread. Notice that at the tip of the lower wing are these little hairs that look like antennae, plus an orange eye so that when it does this little slow hip grind that it does, that is actually a defensive strategy. It looks like its head is at the end of its tail. This strategy saves it from some otherwise fatal bird attacks. The gray hair streak is a beautiful butterfly and because it has so many different host plants, you may find it in your backyard but you will improve your chances if you will plant some native buckwheat. So, reporting live from Fullerton, California, this is Rob Briggs wishing you happy gardening this springtime.